We took our detour through Houston on our way to Las Vegas, which is way out of the way, to stop by at Paint House. And Randy had graciously offered, or rather insisted, that we, we sand and polish the car on our way out to Vegas, just so it's got that extra edge of, of quality for presentation. So I wasn't gonna say no to that. I couldn't turn that down. Sure. What the hell we stop here for? <laughs> Other than to eat some barbecue? <laughs> the giant building in the backyard came from my need to be a workaholic and a husband and a dad simultaneously. Somehow, we managed to find a property where we could put up a building and do that. So it's the shop. When you're sanding, especially at this phase, the wet sanding and polishing, you don't want abrasive things in your sandpaper causing deep scratches that you cannot polish out and you gotta sand more and sooner or later you run out of clear coat. So the cleaner you can keep your environment, the better it is for your sanding and polishing process. The residue goes in places that you can't get it back out of. So we try and clean the car, tape it up, keep the, uh, the, the wet sanding under control and then we start with a relatively aggressive grit, in this case 800 grit, which on clear coat, that's pretty aggressive. And we're literally leveling the clear like a, you would a primer. We progressively work our way to 5,000 grit, 800, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, 5,000. So it's baby steps. You don't wanna go from 800 to 1,500 or 1,000 grit to 2,000. That's, that's too big of a step. The reason you use a bunch of different sizes of sanding blocks, and these are all Jason Kilmer blocks, is because you've got different dimensions and different shapes. You, one big block will ride these peaks and sand through the paint, and then we're, our hearts are broken. Up until about 1500, you're doing some, some flattening. After that point, you're just refining the scratches, making them smaller and smaller and smaller, which makes it easier to polish. Along with the new dual action polishers, there are some sophisticated compounds that we use as well. Companies like Wizards Products have smart compounds that break down with heat and finish out as a polish, which makes them cut fast without creating swirls in the paint. The DAs are much safer. Uh, they, they're cooler, which is better for the paint job. They don't build up all the heat. And uh, you get to that, that shine you're looking for sooner in less steps. So it, it, it's a quicker way to do it. I think it's a great combination. Now it looks like it should look to me. This is why I do this. I love taking uh, average things and making them look above average. And this car looks fantastic now. The, the texture's gone. The color's really gonna pop. You get a great reflection. This is why we do what we do, is to get to this point. Coming out of the paint booth, you're not done in my opinion. It's part of the process. Now, now we're done. <laughs>